It took me at least two years to accept Chicago. Because I thought everybody was crazy. I mean, you know, I mean, hey, you know, like white and black people mixed up together and and, and involved in it, you know, together like that. Yeah. I was afraid of that for like almost two years before I really got used to that. Because when I went back home, my boss, the one that the farm that I live on, he said, Aaron, tell me something. Is it true that they have uh, the toilets up there, in, up there in Chicago, they got toilets inside of the house? I never forget it. And I told him, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he go, God damn. That's all he could say. He couldn't imagine because, you know, the outhouse. Right. You don't have no toilet in the house. There's some people in Chicago. And then he says, is it true? <laughs> I kind of got scared when he asked me that. Is it true that the, black, the uh, uh, black men go with white women up there? I didn't know what to tell him, no or yeah, because, you know. <laughs> so I, you know, this type of, uh, this is my... Yeah, and the gospel, singing gospel was the only thing that I could do that I felt safe. It took a long time, I mean, to play, you know, I played Wolf and them, and uh, they all want me, Aaron, come on and sing a song, you sang God, John Lee Hooker. Like he wouldn't, he had me, I worked with him when I was very little. So coming to Chicago for me was not catching a train or a hobo or running away from you know, my best friends, I grew up with, with some white boys, I still know their birthday. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, when I got inducted in the Army, I went back down there to get inducted, and all of them was there. The, 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 I mean, really buddies, really, yeah, we was sneak off in the woods and be no white and black. We get ass whooping if they find out we was hanging and playing together, you know.